Hello guys and uh, welcome. Uh, in this video we are going to see how we can uh, apply different styles to our uh, VCL applications. So let's say that I have this um, empty application. Let's put some components here on the form uh, just for the uh, demonstration purposes. So uh, we have several radio buttons, uh, checkboxes and etc. Okay, what I want is to apply a different style to uh, this application. In order to do that, first I'm going to go to the project options and under application appearance I have a bunch of diff different custom styles available and I can select some of those. For example, you can always click on preview to see how it looks like. So I'll choose for example Glow, Windows 10 Blue, uh, Uric um, and Luna for example right and uh, from those that you have chosen you can select what is the default uh, style of your application let's say Luna and uh, once you have chosen that uh, you already see that uh, application applied that style uh, in the design time so that was not the case in previous versions of C++ Builder uh, the style was applied uh, only at runtime but now you can also see it in the design time as well which is a great advantage also uh, the thing that you can do now is to apply a style to every individual component so for example uh, maybe i have selected this um, uh, style uh, uh, luna style for the entire application as default but i will choose the button here to be a, a windows 10 blue style for example or this second button to be uh, auric style or I can uh, say that this radio button uses the classic uh, uh, window style. So, for example, that's that's all. Uh, that those are also possibilities, right? And also, what you can do is to change the style at runtime. So, for example, when I click this button here, I can say uh, uh, this style manager set style, and I need to specify a, a, a style. Uh, that I am using, one of the styles that I'm using. So for example, let's say um, Windows. Okay, and uh, in the second case, when uh, clicking on the second button here, I want to go uh, to uh, Luna. Okay, so when I run the application here, and as you can see by default it's Luna, but when I click this button one, uh, he got back to uh, default Windows style. And if I click on the uh, second button here, I have again the Luna style. And of course I can uh, choose some other styles as well. For example, uh, the Auric here. And as you can see, uh, it works and uh, if you are not satisfied with the uh, current uh, set of styles that are available here okay so you can also go to the uh, get it package manager and uh, simply type here style and uh, there are a bunch of other styles well but, uh, some for uh, firemonkey some for uh, vcl for example uh, copper uh, premium style copper dark uh, coral uh, emerald and so on and so on so pretty much you can uh, check all those out and see if you uh, fancy some of those as well okay and I also want to point out that you can uh, load uh, styles from files so if you have uh, styles defined in, in external files and uh, if you uh, want to uh, enable your user to change them dynamically uh, or to add uh, some new styles that is also possible by using this style manager. I believe it's called uh, a load from file method. I'm not really sure exactly, but it's not a problem to check it out. I believe just clicking F1, let's say uh, VCL here, and uh, we have set style here, and we have, yeah, like I thought, uh, so it's a, a load from file where you can specify uh, the style file of, of your new uh, style. And that's it guys, uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.